I'm Karen Crossing, an author for Kids and Teens, and I'm here today to share my lit wish list, which is three different books in three different genres that I hope you'll adore. I've chosen to talk about Canadian children's books for kids and for teens, and they're each about a different culture because what I love about reading is experiencing other cultures. My first book is A Pioneer Sampler, The Daily Life of a Pioneer Family in 1840, written by Barbara Greenwood, illustrated by Heather Collins. This is a non-fiction book for ages 8 to 10, and there's fascinating how-tos about pioneer life in there, like uh, how to make butter or how to make cheese, but there are also fictional short stories about the family life, so it's an interesting combination of two genres. When my kids were young, they loved this book, and as a result, they instituted Pioneer Days, so we would live like the pioneers do in this book for one day. It was a lot of fun, except that I really don't like wearing long skirts. Now for our next cultural experience, we're going to faraway India for The Tiffin by Matab Narsaman. This is a novel for kids, and it's about these tiffins, which are basically lunch boxes. Six million of them are delivered by delivery men across Bombay from people's homes, filled with home-cooked lunches, to the office workers. But this story is about the one tiffin that gets lost and how it affects a boy who loses touch with his birth mother for 12 years. This is an awesome book, and it's not to be missed. And now for teens, we explore werewolf culture, not your ordinary wolf girl, written by Emily Pohl Weary. In this book, the 18-year-old protagonist is a bit of a loner. She plays the bass in an all-girl indie rock band, and she's a vegetarian. But when she gets bitten by a werewolf one night in the dark, in the park, this girl is suddenly craving meat. This is a page-turner with great werewolf lore, and it's not to be missed. So, those are my three titles today in my lit wish list, but I want to say that there are so many great Canadian books for kids and for teens, so I encourage you to go out and explore them in your libraries and your bookstores. You won't be disappointed.